Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it may not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions you would like to contact me maybe for a reading, may it be for uh, a question that you might have, please do not hesitate. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box so please um, if you do wish to contact me just look below seek out the information and you can contact me um, it'll be my great pleasure to um, assist you so please do not hesitate also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much so with no further ado Let's begin this reading. This reading is all about uh, messages, warnings coming from spirit. So take what is good, leave the rest aside. I have three messages. Let's go and discover what they are. I have a riddle fisher. I also have dark moon and I'm going to complete over here with far, far away. So let's start it off with a riddle fisher. This is all about divination. It's about seeking out. It's about finding those answers that you're looking for. So this fairy here, so serious looking for her mission. This is a joy for spirit to help you out. The quest is to find the missing pieces of information that you're seeking right now. But know to where it is that we are researching here, okay? So spirit is researching in the deep caverns of the runes, in the ancient places of your emotions, or even the past, or the memory, or your DNA, of the red lines of ancestry that simply runs through you. Now this beautiful, this calm, patient spirit is searching through the waters of the very deep caverns of the earth. The place where your truth okay, can be hidden as more and more emotions put forth, sometimes from the ego, hiding in their depths of the truth and the answers that we and you are seeking. Now if you find yourself wanting answers and simply not knowing where to start to look, well, spirit is going to assist you by taking you into the depths of that unconscious mind of your memories, both in this lifetime and into the pre previous lifetimes, and in the memories of your family patterns. Spirit is going to help you deeply search and calm down until the right answer is found for you. Now, this could be a time for you to seek out some help, um, spirit realm, to help you find what is lost. It's recovering those lost memories, past life readings and issues coming to the surface. It's going through the emotional waters that are deep and knowing that it is safe to do so. It is feeling that your feelings and knowing their wisdom, searching for an answer, water. It's all about that divining. It's about using those pendulums, finding those clues to your conjuries. Just as you are searching for answers, spirit is searching for your answers also. And they love these puzzles. They are going to find things and answers and pieces of information for you that are just kind of um, misplaced for you right now. Okay, so they are going to help you find that meaningful picture that you're looking for, that it's going to be coming your way. You need to allow spirit to go on that search for you, with you. And you may not find the answers that you're looking for right away but you definitely are going to find right is right for you. You do need to be very, very careful though as a warning of not wanting to go there, you know, the avoiding of the exploration and the emotional due to the fear that is going to hurt, maybe even mistrust of therapy and processing emotions. It's fear of finding answers to questions. It's denial to the unknown. It's ignoring those psychic uh, hunches and flashes and determination to keep moving into a straight line rather than that circular path or an interest in an alternative alternative method, but no commitment to really ever using any of them. So this was all about the um, riddle fisher. We're now going to move on to the following message, and this is all about the dark moon. Now, 
the dark moon is about a certain maturation. It's about growing up. It's that introspection. It's about really knowing yourself. Now, interestingly, this can be really interpreted as, for some of you, depending on you know, your age, it could be a menopausal type card for women or one of a seeming of a bad news, unfortunately, bringing about some change. But change is not bad. Um, this is about the moon times that are moving more to darkening. It's a time for understanding the frailties of the self and understanding the the wisdom, okay, the wisdom of your years on this earth and what it has taught you. It's knowing that there is nothing that can be done at this time. It's knowing that you need to understand where you are responsible for the current situation. It's learning and taking ownership of responsibility and it's going to create that freedom, these new opportunities. It is moving through this and feeling renewed, alive, as though your own personal evolution is finally, finally underway and it's never going to be too late. The test and the subsequent wisdom of May, of, um, of life, it makes this life here so worthwhile and it's going to create for you a beautiful legacy for generations to come. But you're going to have to rise up from this like a phoenix that's reborn from the ashes. Just as the moon is going to wax, grow full again, it's having hope, but doing so, spend time in your beautiful contemplation. You do have to be careful though, okay, and warnings. Um, Sometimes it's really about a person being read for maybe under the illusion that this is a testing time and it's endless and they may just be sliding into depression or mistakenly thinking that the current test is one that is going to simply endure forever. But no, it is going to change. This is not forever. It's just for now and it is the best time to actively embrace this introversion. So it's about sifting through those memories, exploring the past, understanding the patterns and identifying the threats to your your existence, to your happiness, to your true self-flourishing. It's alternatively, the person may be refusing any introspecting and, and self-understanding at all. And it's insisting that action has to be taken, going for the blame, rather than looking within the self. So for now, you have to pause. You just have to stay still and just for a time. And in that space, the shift is going to come and it's going to flow and the joy is going to return to you. It is going to return into your life. And we are going to complete this reading with a far, far away. And this is about creative daydreaming. So it's going to be about a tendency to daydream that is going to be with you at this time. And this daydream is going to allow you to create. It's going to allow you to receive those messages and send messages and understand far more than you believe at present. Far, far away. It's all about others say that you have maybe a lack of focus, that you feel disconnected. It's allowing yourself to be distracted by the ego. Easily bored, short attention spam, needing physical involvement to learn to much sitting still. While daydreaming is quite beautiful, it can be quite enriching. It is very important to ground these imaginings with endeavors, with craft, and start to bring them into life. Bring in the earth that element of surprise that everyone is going to just want there with the beauty of the creations. Okay, very, very important. It's starting to take those dreams and bringing them into reality. And this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it brought you some very interesting messages that you'll be able to um, use. If you have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Have yourself a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow with new messages.